And the new school year will be here before we know it. But again, with all of the coronavirus ever present, what will the new school year even look like? Today, superintendents heard details from the Texas Education Agency. Six News reporter Cole Johnson shows us what was discussed and what was left out of the conversation. Back to school seems like it's so far off, but today superintendents got a glimpse of what is on the horizon from the Texas Education Agency. We heard from two of our local superintendents from Temple and Waco ISD following the release of the information. They defined what remote learning was. That was the first thing they did on this call. The second thing is this is how you can submit for those learners in order to receive funding. What we didn't get was information on how to have instruction at school in person. The call centered around two types of remote learning, attendance and funding. There is synchronous learning, which is real-time virtual learning and asynchronous learning, basically using tools like pre-recorded videos. For measuring attendance to earn funding, it looks different for each type of remote learning. For the real-time remote learning, grades third through 12th have to meet a certain amount of minutes. Pre-K through two, you will not get credit for attendance funding through a synchronous model. For the asynchronous learning, attendance is counted through daily progress in the learning management system, progress through student-teacher interactions, or completing assignments and turning them in. I think the, you know, the, while there's some flexibility with those two different remote instruction models, instructional models, um, certainly the accounting will be complex for school districts to implement. And while things continue to change, these two districts are evaluating what their next steps will be for this upcoming fall. Reporting in Temple, Cole Johnson, 6 News. Now this was just a brief overview of the guidance laid out by the TEA. We have a full look at it online at KCENTV.com. And that's also where we break down the amount of PPE being provided to schools. Also an important note, the TEA mentioned, even though PPE will be provided, using it is not required.